I spent hours searching the web trying to find the most satisfying and well-designed websites out there. And so in this video, I'm gonna share with you my five favorites. I'm gonna show you what I love about them and then what you can take away from these sites to improve your own designs. So let's get into it. So the first website that I wanna talk about is called helloelva.com. And I wanted to start with this website because I feel like they take a really simple design and then they added some really awesome interactions and animations that really bring this thing to life. And this, to me, feels like it's really attainable, especially with some of the web design tools that are out there. So you can see in the hero section, we've got some movement, some icons that are replacing different letters. As we scroll, you're also going to see some really fun hover effects. And I'm going to show you what happens when we click this in just a minute. As we scroll down, there's some great scroll effects, like taking this word and making it smaller as you scroll. Now you can see if I scroll back up, it's going to make it larger before it pops me up to the top of the site. But the one thing that I wanted to talk about are our case studies here. This is in a slider. If you click it and drag, you can slide through these as you wish. There are a couple little tricks that they've used here that give these images a little bit of a rubber effect. You can see as I grab these and wiggle them back and forth, they have like that rubber feel to them and they kind of bend. A couple little things like this can really take a website to the next level. Everyone might not be able to pinpoint what it is that they like about it, but it just feels new and fresh and responsive and it gives you what you want. So as you scroll down, they've got a couple other hover effects with these letters. And at the very bottom, I really liked this because as you scroll, it's creating this smiley face and then it starts to warp. Now, as I was looking at this, this reminded me of some of my old college courses where we were dealing with really basic shapes and playing with CSS. You can see that it brings in like a little half circle and then it overlaps. Um, you've got your little eyes and, and your outline circle. But again, some really simple things that they've actually made look really, really professional. Now, the only other thing that I want to cover on this is with this hover effect, as you click on the different case studies, the image kind of melts onto your page. And I love that interaction. I'm gonna go back and do it one more time for you. If I come down here, hover and click, it kind of just melts onto the page. And so load animations, different things like that are really going to take your site to the next level. Now, the next site that I want to cover is actually a page of MBA.com, but you can tell that a lot of thought went into this site and it's a Utah jazz site. And being from Idaho all growing up, I actually spent a lot of time going down to jazz games. But the thing I really loved about this site is it does such a fantastic job of telling a story and it kept me engaged the entire time. And so as you scroll down, what they're doing is they're introducing kind of the, the rebrand or bringing the old brand back. And so they're really kind of highlighting these old jerseys, the basketball court design, different things. But as you scroll, there are a lot of scroll interactions here that are going to walk you through this story. So they're gonna be popping up some old logos and t-shirts. And as I scroll, it's gonna to continue to pop up these really large fonts and tell this story. Now, in between these, it's going to pop up some different images, which again, definitely took me back to my childhood. And they're also going to pop up some different videos and things like that, like this one. So as we continue to go down, it's going to continue to take us through the story. But the only other thing that I want to show you on this is if we continue to go down, they've got some really great background videos that you can click through that really showcase some awesome videography. And then if we go down a little bit further past these images, past the new jerseys, what I really loved is the way that they use this scroll animation to pop up all of these old logos that feel like stickers. They're kind of messy. And if you scroll back, you can see it kind of slides them off the screen. You can actually go back and forth with your scroll. But little things like this are totally doable in tools like Webflow. And they really add a fun element to your website and make it a lot easier for you to tell a great story. So the next one that I want to cover is by Bonfire. It is unify.bonfire.com. And there were a few things that I really liked about this. It really has a digital feel, especially using these blocky fonts. Um, but again, a lot of really great scroll animations. You can see here that these different elements are kind of sliding and moving. It just gives a lot of depth to your website. The other thing I liked is their use of gradients and little lines that pop up as you scroll down. So we're going to continue to go down. They've got a great tab element here with a slider. They've got some more scroll animations. But this was one of the things that I really liked in terms of telling a story. You can see that as I scroll, it's going to highlight the letters. So this is me scrolling up and back. And so it's basically going to walk you through and show you what you should be reading as you scroll. And this is a really cool way to keep people's attention and really determine what it is that they're looking at at all times, which 
it really is a superpower when it comes to web design and development. Now you can scroll through the rest of the site, but again, they've got some really great slider elements and everything just feels really clean as it appears and as you scroll. The one thing that I didn't like about this site is these scroll animations were not as smooth in mobile, and you'll probably see that if you visit this site, but overall, it's a really cool idea, and I definitely would recommend implementing some of these scroll animations and interactions in your designs. Now, speaking of scroll animations, there are a lot of cool things that you can do with things like Lottie files, and you're going to see that in this next website, which is dashgo.com. Now, this little line art, it's super simple, but it's really custom and you can tell they spent a lot of time on this and as i scroll it's actually that line is actually going to follow me all the way down the screen so again if i scroll back up it's going to retract and if i scroll down it's going to continue to follow me so as i go through it's going to pop up my headphones we've got some really nice imagery and then here's our line again following us down creating a laptop it's outlining the piano which this was my favorite part and again as i scroll back it's going to retract that line but as we continue to go down, it's going to lead us all the way to the bottom, which is going to be our main call to action. Now, the last site that I want to cover is zooartshow.com. And this one's a really quirky site. Um, it's, it's a really basic layout with some really complex interactions and the way that it switches between pages. But the thing I really loved was the different textures that it uses. It's got these 3D animals that are kind of switching and you can see that the patterns and textures on these are switching as you highlight. And something about like this elephant with a cheetah print was just really cool to me. Now, if you click on one of these, it's going to pop up this page and you can see that their logo is going to be using that same texture or design. And then it's going to take you through all of their content. They've got a lot of really cool drag and hover interactions. And again, the coloring on these is just so incredible. You can tell that they spent a lot of time on these 3D graphics. Anytime you can do something like this that feels really custom to your site, people can tell. There's a massive difference between these and simple stock footage or stock 3D imagery. But if I click on some of these other pages, you can see that their load animations are awesome. Here we've got this 3D bull that has kind of this pink uh, design to it. And I just love everything that they're doing here. Um, you can tell that this is a next level designer and developer. I'm sure there were big teams working on projects like this, but these can give you some really great ideas of what can take your site to the next level. If you're ever looking at your site and thinking, man, it's just really missing something. I would say first look at your imagery. So your images, your videos, your textures, maybe add a little noise to your background, different things like that can really help you out. But then at the end of the day, these types of scroll animations and interactions, they do take a lot of time, but they definitely are going to be worth it if you can do them tastefully and make sure that it doesn't retract from the content and the focus of your site, but also engages people and gives them a fun experience. And truly, that's what it's all about. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button down below. And if you want to catch my next videos, be sure to subscribe. I've got new videos coming out every single week on web design, marketing, freelancing, running a business, all sorts of cool stuff. So thanks again for your time and we'll catch you in the next video.